you know, you kind of have that in the back of your mind, how much it helps or not. I, I have no idea. It's not like the Yankees weren't going out to try and win anyway. It's of course. It's tied uh, two to two. But there's some nice vindication in, okay, we took care of that. That's over. Let's not bring that up anymore. He doesn't have to answer any more questions about their season being over, and is it over because of what you did Friday night? End of that chapter. Turn the page. Let's move on. Correct. I, th- I think there was a genuineness, though. You could hear it in, oh, in yes, Frazier's yes. voice about how good they all felt for yep. him. Because, look, and you heard him say he took a lot of criticism and he shouldn't have. Now, you could argue that either way. One is the, the argument on the side of, yes, he deserved all the criticism is – You could argue the pitching changes, but every manager is going to make pitching changes, and sometimes they're going to work, sometimes they're not. You cannot argue that he shouldn't have challenged the the ball that was tipped off the knob of the bat. That was obviously a mistake. So that he's worthy of the criticism. Now, what Frazier is saying is that doesn't mean you then have to give up a grand slam. It doesn't mean you then have to lose the game. The player still had the game to win, even though the manager made the mistake, and I think that's what Frazier was saying. Right, right. We we still had time. It's almost like, you know, they were still winning by four runs when that ball hit the bat a little bit the same Bartman you know Bartman grabs the ball but they still have ball to play after that right of course course. so I mean you still have a chance to go out there on the field and get it done and that's exactly you know a scenario here even at the the mistake the game wasn't over you know until until the grand slam (laughs) 